Hey friends, this is Heather from Heather's Heart and I am going to give you a quick tour of my leather covered journaling Bible. I don't even remember when I got this Bible. I just remember I was talking, oh, it's a New King James Journal the World, Journal the Word Bible, large print, which I absolutely love. I wish they would have something like this in the NLT, um, a New Living Translation that is just, uh, blank journal margins and not the ones that have the design the designs interspersed in it but anyway so when i bought this this was originally a hardcover uh bible and i had my dad remove the cover and put on this leather cover which he made just for me because i wanted something that would combine adventure like indiana jones and the last crusade with that leather wrap notebook that he had with all the secrets of life in it and then um god's word so jesus and indiana jones on an adventure and he did that and he made it a wraparound cover for me with this really long uh tie that probably wraps around it like three times and i keep meaning to cut it but i'm not going to do it so anyway let me uh go through and show you what i've got it's been a while since i've used this bible and i just wanted to uh, go through it again and I've just been inspired to get back into my Bible and take notes in this one um, and do some more painting and I have a beautiful beautiful Tony Evans study Bible um, which is a Christian standard Bible translation that my friend Christina Coleman uh, bought for me and I use that mostly but I want to get back into this for a little bit so this is not in date order of when I actually painted these I'm just going from front to back so this is um a patch that a friend gave me and I had the idea of God's word being an anchor for the soul. So I looked up an idea on Pinterest, but I painted my own. So this is mostly watercolor with a little bit of Prismacolor uh, drawing pencils. And that was done on June 3rd. Um, then I wrote out 1 Corinthians 13 here because I remember my friend Spencer uh, was saying how he his mom would read that every day, I think. Um, but I love, I absolutely love 1 Corinthians 13. It's a great, great one for um, knowing how to love people the way God loves them, even when they're difficult. And anyway, so let's see here. Let me see. I don't remember where the next one is, but it's in here somewhere. I don't think I did very much in the Old Testament. Oh, I made a bunch of these cards when I was participating in this Bible journaling project. So Jesus is our provider but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So all the things that we need, um, God will take care of and provide for us. We just got to keep our eyes on him always and first. And, and then like I had little notes in here. So like, um, what is this? First Kings 18 verse 26. No, excuse me, 21. Where it says, how long we falter between two opinions. If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. And I referenced Joshua 24, 15, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And then James 1, 8 talks about being a double-minded man. You can't be double-minded and pursue Christ. Uh, there's blessing and obedience, and God will answer in his timing. So I highlighted some things here. i got to go back and look at that, because I don't remember why I did what I did. Oh, this is a tattoo rose that I drew that I was going to paint in my Bible and never did, but I kept the card in there. Let's see. There's some more little oddball notes in here. I need to go through and do like an actual flip through page by page. But um, I was thinking about getting a new journaling Bible. But then, no, I need to finish up and use up what I have and be a good steward of my money. Although journaling Bibles really are kind of fun. So this was a design that actually bled through from the other side. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. So I have some dried rose petals. It bled through. Wow, it really bled through. Um... So this was based on Psalm 27, verse 8. It says, My heart has heard you say, Come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. And there was a season, I was going through a really difficult season. Um, and God was just bringing scriptures to mind where he speaks to us in the night seasons. And those are actually good times. He speaks to us at night. He speaks to us all the time. But there are times at night when I really hear his voice loud and clear. And this design didn't come out the way I wanted. So what I ended up doing was taking a piece of vellum paper, which is a translucent paper, and adding some washi tape and writing the verse out on this and sticking it in there so you can see that. 
Um, let's see. Oops. And, and oh, and then I did this one based on um, Psalm forty-two seven through eight. I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day, the Lord pours out His unfailing love upon me, and through each night. I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. Um, this verse carried me through when I was had my heart devastated back in 2012. That carried me, literally. Um, so I did this whole spread. And this is a vellum tip-in, so see-through paper that I tipped in with glue in this case. And I wrote a bunch of verses um, out about what I called lighting it up. In, and in this case, how God lights up my darkness. His light of truth dispels the darkness his light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it and then the verse is about how he speaks to us in the night season i won't fear in the valley of the shadow of death my heart has heard him speak to me he remembers me at night i won't be moved during the night seasons um and then i did an ocean theme and you can still read it the the text here so mostly but um so i did a little uh seaweed forest and then I did a little envelope attached to this tip in with verses um you know talking about coming to the secret place of prayer because that's where we're gonna God's gonna speak to us and I think in this season that's what God was calling me to do is just to come back to him and then I painted on the front of this so I have a globe a little uh globe glitter globe <laughs> Um, anyway, so that, that was just something I, I came, that was probably my fanciest design. And then, let's see. Oh, here we go, there's another one coming up here. Um, all her paths are peace. And design inspired by from the mountains. This was a little card I did with the words mentioned in Philippians 4, 8, and 9, I think. Um, this is a good one to remember about how to talk to people when they are not around, you know, shut your mouth, don't gossip, focus on these things, and that'll really change your world, or rock your world for the better. And then I did this one about kind words being sweet like honey. Now, this one was probably the most uh, bold one I've done because there's some of the text that I can't read, but um, again, I've got a plan to actually print out that text and insert that in here so I still have it to read. So my future designs aren't going to be as bold as this, you know, but you can still read all the text here. This was a friend loves at all times, Proverbs 17, 17. This was a tip in on a piece of vellum paper with attached with glue where I talked about the name of the Lord. It's a strong tower, the righteous run to it are safe. It's hope, hope. His name is hope. He's a tower of hope. This was, oh, that's disgusting. I gotta go make another one. This was a pocket with dried flowers that was supposed to talk about the word of God will stand forever, Isaiah 40, verse 8. And then this was some flowers. This is the very first thing I ever painted in my Bible. This one is talking about how we are engraved on the palm of his hands, and someday this will all make sense what we're going through when we stand before him face to face. This is Isaiah 49, 16. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, this was uh, based on a photo I took out at Cannery Row. I saw some flowers that someone left on a bench. I painted that in there because God gives me beauty for ashes. And I've certainly walked through some fire. I think we all have it at one point in our lives. And, you know, God gives us beauty for those ashes. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another tip. And... You are the salt and light of the earth. That was on uh, watercolor paper. Oh, this is another bold one. I need to print out the page. Um, we are, I'm a daughter of promise. We are children of, of his promise, Luke 145. Um, let me see if I can read it still. Oh, goodness. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. I think that's the one where uh, Mary's was called blessed because she believed God's promise. To her even though she had no idea at that time how god was going to make it happen she believed him in him we live and move and breathe Acts 17 28 there's some more little study notes i need to go back and find those notes this is worship about worship romans 12 1 um and things i can do 
to worship God by surrendering my life to him. I think we're coming towards nine. Oh, this was one of my favorites um, from 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, and how that connects with 1 John 14 about there being no fear and love. And then it's a couple of other verses that kind of connect with verse, uh, I think verse 12 or verse 13 of 1 Corinthians 13 as well. Um, so that was a bell and tip in with washi tape and then that was painted on the Bible. I like that. I should paint that again. I'm almost getting to the end. I like this about the now and the not yet where we aren't what we used to be. We're not where we are going to be yet, but we will, when we see Christ face to face, it'll be awesome. And he who began a good work in us is faithful to complete that work. Um, Holy Spirit promised through faith, Galatians 3.14. We're no longer slave to sin, Galatians 4, 7. Um, this is the fruit of the Spirit. I never painted that. I gotta do something. Blessed beyond all measure, Ephesians 3, 20. And this was something that I traced in there. Oh, and then I added this vellum and then did the little fly little uh, firefly flying out of the mason jar, shine as lights in the world, Philippians 2.15. And then, and then think on these things. So this is Philippians 4, um, 8 and 9. Uh, and so how I can put some of these words into practice. And that's it. That's my Bible tour. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have one more thing? Oh, 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 oh. I do. I will draw near to you, James 4.8. We, we draw near to him. He will draw near to us. Just did a little tip in. All right, that's my Bible. Um, I love it. And I hope you do too. Hope it inspires you to get into the word. Um, even if you just use some good pens, uh, colored pens to take notes in your journal or whatever. But spend time with Jesus. Just read. It's so worth it. He loves you so much and he wants to talk to you. Um, it's the best self-care tip out there is get in your Bible. Love and hugs from the ocean shores of Monterey. Bye.